Shri Guru Bhuva Namaha. We welcome you to our online session. So, now I will deal with the topic size and location. So, you can see the map of India where we are going to learn about its size and its location. Here is a map showing you the latitude and the longitude of the country India. You can also see the central meridian point that is 82 degrees 30 east. And you can see the latitude shown here, Tropic of Cancer, 68 degrees 7 east. Now, this is the la imaginary line over the Indian. Uh, subcontinent and you can see that how the land frontiers are measured and are being depicted here as well as the person line. So let us go look at the forward things. This is a globe showing the countries and uh, we are going to concentrate on Indian country. So the topic introduction says that how India is one of the ancient civilizations in the world and you can also learn that it was the one of the ancient civilization as well. It was one of the greatest civilization. It has achieved multifaceted socio-economic progress the last five decades, it has moved forward displaying remarkable progress in the field of agriculture, industry, technology and overall economic development. India has also contributed significantly in the making of world history. So, in a conclusion, I can say that India has shown significant development in various fields. So, we, we are going to continue with uh, the other content of the topic. So, before going to detailed part of the size and location, I'm going to see the vertical lines and the horizontal lines that are related to the, the earth and how these lines are helpful to calculate the time as well as the location of the places. Now you can see the group shown here with the grid. It's called grid. Where the latitude and longitude lines merge. They cut each other. So you can see that it's the grid and that can help to measure the location of an area and the time calculation. So the meridian is the center point, the center line that helps in calculating of the time. So you can see the parallel lines here, latitudes and the vertical line as longitude. So these are the imaginary lines that are learning. 
So India's location in the globe or on the earth, you can just note that India is a vast country lying entirely in the northern hemisphere. First of all, hemisphere means the place on the earth that has been divided by the equator. So the equator is the latitude that divides the earth into two parts. So the northern part is called the northern hemisphere and the southern part is called southern hemisphere. And India lies in the northern hemisphere and in the continent called Asia. And if you want to know the meaning of continent, continent is the large landmass. And it is formed by tectonic movements. And this landmass, Asia, consists of countries. And India is one of the countries. India is also called the subcontinent of Asia. The land is in between the latitudes 8, 4, and 37, 6 north, and longitude 68, 7 east, and 97, 25 east. The topic of Cancer is the latitude that divides a country into two parts. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the Lakshadweep Islands are in the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea. For your understanding, Andaman and Nicobar is in the Bay of Bengal and Lakshadweep Islands are in the Arabian Sea. So now we are going to concentrate that how Earth takes 4 minutes to rotate from one longitude to another. Now how the North Pole and the South Pole are in the uh, globe you can see and how the day and night are calculated. You know that rotation of the Earth gives day and night and 12 hour difference for night and day. So, you can see how the sun never sets in the north and south. Sun never rises in the south. So, the two poles are never getting the sun's appearance. Now, night and day, you can see that the night in the west and the day in the east because sun rises in the east. So, you can see that sun is received, the sun's rays is received by the easternmost countries first and the western countries receive the set. So, the sun never rises in the west. So, east is the con uh, direction that makes the sun rise. So, the long days you can see where are the long days. Equal days are near to the equator and short days is below the equator and above the day, uh, equator is long days. That means the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. So, the axis it rotates, in. then you have to know the angle of axis, how it's dividing the earth. And day and night, you can see that sun uh, never rises in the west and sun rises in the east. These are the differences that you are going to learn. And these are the poles that you can see, north and south poles. So, how the tilted axis? Makes the earth rotate. 
So as the sun's uh, rays falls, the rotation of the earth gives day and night to 12 hours for day and night calculator, 12 hours each. So this is what you are learning with the imaginary lines, latitude and the rotation of axis. All these are important and Earth takes two minutes to rotate from one longitude to another, so which makes the easternmost countries get receive the sun's rays and receive the day, and the west countries are losing the day and receiving the night. So, what a, for man travels from east to west, he loses a day and and when a man travels from west to east, he gains a day. So this is the fact. Now, you are going to see that what are the major latitudes and how the climatic zones are appearing. So you can see here that The climatic zones are nothing but due to the latitudes. The Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer, Equator, Tropic of Capricorn, and Antarctic Circles are the various latitudes, and each are having the degrees. In the the la, la, line that divides the Earth, and the Equator is called storage zone where sun's rays falls uh, straight. So this is what the place near to the uh, equator is very hot. So, sun's rays falls directly and the heat is extreme. Now, you can see the Tropic of Cancer, it's called temperate zone, warm climate. And Arctic Circle is called the frigid zone, which doesn't much receive the rays, sun's rays and it's called frozen area zone. Same way, the South Pole here is called frigid zone. and Temperate zone is warm, climatic zone, which is lying near to the Tropic of Capricorn latitude, so which is away from the equator. So these are the various climatic zones with the help of latitude. So now we are going to see that how India size and location is being the mentioned with the ancient civilizations in the world. It has achieved multifaceted socio-economic progress for decades. You can see the developments that are taking place in this country. India has more young. Remarkable progress in the field of agriculture, industry, technology, and overall economic development. It has uh, contributed significantly in various fields. So, India and the world, India's, the world, you can see that attains important position due to the Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean uh, helping India to establish a close contact with the West, Asia, Africa, and Europe from the Western coast, Southeast and East Asia from the Eastern coast. So it is a strategic point. Point and the natural harbors. And of course, the long 
coast line the long coast line that makes india to sustain its position and justifying the name indian ocean of its uh, countries so you can see that this is how india attains a position in the world due to the indian ocean and this you can just know that the trade relationships that india had the successful due to sea routes and before sea route development it was due to the land route so here we are going to see that northern hemisphere is this part where the equator is dividing the top and the southern hemisphere is the bottom so you can see the north pole arctic circle tropic of cancer equator tropic of capricorn antarctic circle south pole again all the latitudes are shown to you and how these are been helpful for the climate that are enjoyed by the various regions so latitudes are helpful in this manner and it also differentiates the day and night and here this is the hemisphere that is east and west and you can see the longitude lines so they are shown to you how the 0 degree meridian the center most longitude line 0 degree that divides east and west hemisphere and this helps the meridian helps to calculate the international time to avoid confusion this is helpful for green which meridian so this is which helps us to know the international date line that is imaginary line of longitude on the earth surface located about 180 degree east and our west of the greenwich meridian so the sub two calendar days you can see that the na navigation surface of the earth that runs from the north pole to the south pole that's a imaginary line that uh, divides the north pole and south pole uh, demarcates the change of one calendar day to the next it passes through the middle of the pacific ocean roughly following the 180 degree line longitude but deviating to pass around some territories and island so america to asia as i said earlier green day and uh, asia to america blue a day so this is the fact which i am learning So in eastern hemisphere there are 180 longitude lines and in western hemisphere there are also 180 longitudes therefore the total number of longitudes are 360 so the earth takes 4 minutes to rotate from one longitude to another so it calculates this how 1440 minutes to 360 longitude each carries 2 minutes and this is how 24 hours day and night is calculated so rotation of the earth makes itself to complete 24 hours so this is a fact which is very important to learn thank you